program through Ansible code, through Terraform, through Python, through Go language. You can talk to AWS. That's called programmatic. Now, we are sitting in the first floor. We have staircase. There are some buildings also have lift elevators, right? You take elevator or you take staircase. That means there are two ways. Similar way, the moment you want to AWS, you have two ways. As a root user, you should not log into AWS using programmatic. This is called programmatic. Never and ever log into AWS as programmatic. If you are a root user, then who should log into the uh, programmatic means? IAM user should log into the programmatic. Why? He has a limited permissions. She has complete permissions. If your credentials are compromised, compromised means somebody got it. What happens? Let's say you have an account with bank. You have 10 millions in your account. Your account got compromised. Your username and password shared with somebody. Somewhere it went. What happens? 10 millions become 10 rupees. Not even 10 rupees, 0 rupees LT. Why? Somebody got access to it, they'll steal your money. Same way, as a root user, never and ever share your credentials with anybody. And don't do other activities apart from creating one user, give him required permissions. He will take care of day-to-day -day operations. As a root user credentials, don't do any other things. Only user management, group management, permissions, policies. IAM user will have limited permissions. Whenever he wants something, he will reach out to the PO. See, I am trying to create a load balance in AWS. He will say, why you want to create, you'll ask. In our recent requirement, you said that to provision a load balancer. She will go to the task and check whatever he is saying is correct or not, she is checking. Then she will grant access to it. This is what happens in the real time. If you want everything, no, nobody will give you. What you are doing currently, why you want, you have to give a business justification. Then only they will give access to you. So as a root user, you should only log into the AWS through browser, not with programmatically. As an IAM user, you will log into AWS using two ways. One is through browser. The other one is through programmatic. Am I clear? Perfect. The moment you log into AWS, you'll be able to see 17 regions. And these 17 regions, what you see, will fall under standard partition. 33 regions, 105 data centers, 33 regions are divided into three partitions. Partition 1, US Cloud. Partition 2, Standard Cloud. Partition 3, China Region. Now you are doing a business across the globe. So that means in China, you have to deploy separately. If you are doing a business in India, as well as China means, you should deploy your workload in China Region separately. Or else it will not work. And the default account what you created, now you're sitting in Hyderabad and created account with AWS. So that means you will be part of standard partitions, standard partitions region only. And how many you got access? 17 regions. If you want to enable some more regions, yes, you can do it yourself. But in the real time, even in our general regular uh, life, Everybody is having a smartphone now. But in that smartphone, you have two SIMs. One you treat as primary. Another one you treat as secondary. Yes or no? Even you are in the real time, if your business is across the globe, what you do is you only select primary region and secondary region. The same way, the moment you log into the, uh, the moment you join a project, they clearly say that, I'm giving you access to AWS and you should only access a specific region called North Virginia or Mumbai or Hyderabad. 
they say you forget. Why? You are new to AWS. That's the reason what they do is basically this solution architect will create a policy. This policy will attach to the user. This user is logging to AWS using his laptop, using browser, he will log into AWS. After he or she logins to the AWS, he will try to switch to Hyderabad. But as per the policy, North Virginia has granted access. If he goes to Hyderabad and try to create something, he will get permission denied. Rather you say orally, you're writing a policy and attaching it to him. Based on the policy, this user will log in and he will do his day-to-day -day operations.